Welcome to Coffee Heaven number two. This is my last video for tonight. Because I'm about to film, as you can see, I'm going to use just my bed for the next scene, for the next two scenes. Uh, ben Riley going to sleep as the Scarlet Spider, and Ben Riley um, receiving the call in bed. I'm probably just going to do one, and um, now I'm going to have to do two, because I can use this last scene of Scarlet Spider getting in bed as the Scarlet Spider. Um, that would probably work a lot better. So, let me um, make the point of this video. This video is called, There is a Danger in Giving People Too Much Credit. And I want to make this video because it's still on my mind and I want it to um, resonate with y'all because it's a true story. So, yesterday I went to work and I talked to a friend of my brother's because my brother and I have some issues and it's generally when a brother has an issue with you, it's because um, somebody doesn't want to admit to something or somebody owes somebody something. You do the math. I don't have a problem admitting to anything. So you pretty much know that I'm the one that's owed something. So I was talking to his friend, and his friend gave him extraordinary credit. And I told him, I said, you know, I love my brother. So if you're watching... You know which brother you are. It's not my two younger brothers. It's my youngest of them all, brother, if you're watching. And I'm pretty sure you're not. But if you're watching, or if this makes it to you, don't take this shit the wrong way, but you know I'm telling the truth. So, his friend wants to um, acquire something from him for a certain amount of money in which my brother actually owes me. And him and I got to talking for a good 15 minutes. Might have pissed my boss off because my boss was kind of blocked, so we backed up the truck a little bit, and we talked a little bit. And he's telling me, you should have more faith in your brother, blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, well, look, what I did for my brother, I did because I wanted to be loved by my mother so badly that I consciously wasn't thinking of what benefits me. I was honestly, truly believing that giving my brother the credit that everybody else gave him would... um. Balance it out, and you know, I, I swore I wouldn't hound him, but it's been five years, and it's a grand total of $7,000. So me and his friend were talking, and I'm like, dude, I love my brother, but I don't like him as a person. I don't like liars. He has no honor, and in the five years that my dad's been dead, he's gotten mad jobs and has gotten mad stuff for his new vehicle, which he traded the vehicle, which I kept paying for, off to get the new vehicle. And so, it wouldn't have been that bad if he would have kept the vehicle basic, you know. But out of the blue, he started buying shit for the vehicle. New stereo, brand new fucking shiny ass rims, brand new tires for those shiny ass rims. And you know, there are those high rims with the thin wheels. So he's got that shit. And I know that shit sets you back a, a fair amount of money. And then he's posting shit all over the place. And when I post stuff on all over the place, he cries to our mother and it's a big fucking clusterfuck. But it's okay for him to do it. And so he's fixing to, to, to up his game or keep up with the Joneses. Or in other words, live above his means. And it's pissed me off to the point where I can't really be in the same room with him because I'm afraid I'm going to do something to him. So out of safety for him, I go lock myself in the room. Because if I'm within striking distance... It'd be some bad news that cometh. Anyway, and he's a little bigger than me, and he's always thought he was a badass and all kinds of other stuff. The difference is, this badass knows that I'm a badass. So I don't have to go around and prove it to nobody. And the thing about being a badass, someone always wants a piece of a badass, you know. Or someone thinks they can beat a badass, so they talk a lot of shit. And then when the shit get down to the, to the gusto, people got to understand it. I'm a tiny man. I'm five, three and a half. That in itself means I have to be on red alert all the time because everybody wants to throw the little guy down the bar. So, moral of the story is, he's defending my brother. I mean, he's defending my brother, and that's cool. I have no problem with that because if the shoes were reversed, I would be defending my brother. But if the shoes were reversed, he'd be floating down the stream somewhere because when you borrow money from people that aren't kin to you and you don't pay them back, I'm sorry, DTS is not where you're going to be. Maybe GTD, which means go get drowned or go get dead. 
in any bad scenario. So, you know, when this all went down, I promised my brother that I wouldn't hound him about the money. But after five years, you know, $7,000 is a lot of money for somebody who didn't have any money to begin with. That was my dad's money, you know. So, the guy's giving my brother way too much credit. So he's talking about acquiring whatever it is he's going to acquire and how much he's going to offer my brother. And I told him, even if you get what you're acquiring, there's no guarantee that my brother's going to pay me back. He's like, what? I said, look, man, the man's had five years. He paid me back and told me that when his girlfriend got her taxes that he was going to pay me the rest of the money. But he clearly doesn't know that he owes me $7,000. So there's five payments of six seventy-five a month which wound up coming to about $3,000, and then turned around and gave him $4,000 for a CDL class. And he got new jobs, and now he's about to buy a house. But he didn't bother paying me back. And he's got this brand new car that he got, like, right after he got out of his staycation or incarceration. And I, I went to, to work one day, and my car had broke down. So the day before, when my car was breaking down, I took it to the mechanic, I paid the mechanic for the job before I got the car, left it there, you know. we all, I had been talking to the mechanic before because I had money for that because I had just got paid. And the mechanic, by word of mouth, shout out, they, they were doing me right. And I was like, all right, well, if you get the car here, I'll get the parts. And that was like the week before I got the car there. And so he charged me for the labor plus parts. And that was like roughly maybe three or $400, which luckily I got paid mm -hmm buy my job and the army and I gave them every damn thing I had other than what I needed to cover my insurance bill, my cell phone bill, and my dental insurance, which pretty much left me broke after that. So the next day, my nephew who just passed, he gave me a ride to school and it was raining. So I'm a soldier, you know, walking in the rain ain't nothing for a soldier. So I had to hoof it home because my nephew had to go to work by the time my class was over so he couldn't come get me. So when I get home, there's four boxes, and there's these big-ass fucking rims for his new truck that I didn't know that he had until I found the rims. So I was like, what's with these rims? And I said, oh, that's for, for my brother. And I was like, okay. So then he rolled up in the brand-new truck. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, because, you know, you ain't got money to pay me back, but you got this brand-new fucking truck. I was like, Okay. Maybe I should have been hounding him after that money because he has a brand new fucking truck. So that goes that he traded the car in that I paid for while he was on his incarceration to get this new truck. And apparently his girlfriend, baby mama, went in and bought on these rims. And I said, I don't give a damn how much good licking and dicking this motherfucker is giving. If I'm a girl, ain't no fucking way in hell I'm dropping that much money for some motherfucking rims the dick ain't that damn important. You get a vibrator and, you know, you can go to town on that shit. Again, too much credit. So now I'm mad as hell. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Oh, it gets worse. So that weekend, he goes to get the rims put on the truck. But instead of keeping a factory deck, he went and got a brand new stereo. I think it's like an eight thing or whatever. Plus he kept the, um, the eye radio or... X radio or whatever the fuck that shit is. And then in front of my cousin R Dog and in front of my cousin E Dog, I'm giving them acronym names. Well, let's just say my brother started talking about a vacation. Now, mind you, he owes me money. Mind you, new truck, four rims, new stereo, vacation. But he owes me money. Now, it's okay for him to go out and fund all this shit, but he owes me money. Anyway, going back around to giving too much credit, this is the danger of giving people too much credit because you'll sit there and you'll be like, I mean, I was bewildered. And I mean, it takes everything I have to not hit people. For those who aren't street fighters, for those who don't have a short fuse, for those who have no idea... How much it takes to keep your hands to yourself. This is the proof that God exists. Because I haven't killed anyone yet. But I come close a lot. I have a sister. Same way. When my dad passed, my mom suckered me into giving her 600 bucks. Now, she won the lottery five times. 
in the past five years ain't through one dollar this way. And people think I don't have the right to be mad and bitch about that shit. You know, that $600 was my dad's, my dead dad's money. You didn't have to get it because you haven't helped me in life one day in your life other than causing me problems. So why would I just give you $600 when I can't fucking stand you? You know, she's also the reason why I didn't become a cop. Because instead of dating men that didn't do illegal paraphernalia, that's what she brought home. And granted, I love his kids and her kids, but she's a piece of work. You know, she's just a piece of work. So at the end of it, you know, I was talking to him and talking to him. My boss left and I kept telling him, I said, dude, I can almost guarantee you, if you don't remind him or say anything, and he quickly jumped off that subject. He's like, nah, man, I ain't getting involved in that. I said, well, you brought it up. So you kind of you kind of, you kind of, are involved because you brought it up. You brought it to the surface. When I sat right there and told you, you know, even if you get what you're acquiring from him, he's pretty much going to smile on my face and give me the finger and move on with life and think, fuck you, buddy. I'm not going to give you shit. So again, there is a danger in giving too much credit to people. Don't do it. This is comfort habit number two. I got to start filming now because it's just after midnight. So, and I also have class first thing tomorrow. So I need to get my shit together. Be seeing you. Thank you very much.